So you have now chosen your A team and you are ready to write your winning MPC statement. So let's give you some tips on how to make sure you take away the prize. Your aim should be to show how you decided on the repurchase rate. This means your statement should demonstrate all the factors you considered before landing on a decision. Your examiners will be looking at the following criteria. Your understanding of economic and monetary policy. Your analysis of current state of the economy. Your justification of outlook and repurchase rate decision. Technical quality of your writing and the use of external sources and referencing. Let's take a closer look at some of the most crucial parts. Number one, understanding of economic and monetary policy. Your MPC statement needs to show that you understand monetary policy and its purpose. You also need to show the economic relationship between the indicators you have looked at and chosen to base your decision off. Number two, analysis of current state of the economy how is the economy doing discuss the various trends like gdp growth and discuss any causes of changes that you may observe number three justification of outlook and repurchase rate decision look at recent inflation trends and discuss the major contributors explain how key indicators may present a favorable or unfavorable risk to inflation, which will support your decision. Be sure to clearly state your decision at the end of the statement. We can't emphasize this enough. You have to clearly state your decision at the end of the statement, just like the governor and the deputy governors and members of the MPC do. Against this backdrop, the Monetary Policy Committee